Hey everybody, this is Christine Marsh. I remember when I organized my content library that I wished that I would have had some example of somebody else's library that I could find and how they organized it so I could get ideas. And I spent about three weeks doing this and this is how I organize it. I may not do something as efficiently as possible. I, I'm all this, everything I've done is self-taught. I search it and figure it out. So here I have some ready to install. I usually do, I, I actually was using Daz Central to do most of my installing and because this wouldn't open for the longest time and they recently took away Daz Central. So now I have install manager and I think I'm using it okay. I don't know because I haven't used it in years because it wouldn't open on my machine. It wouldn't install. And I'm going to install these. I do a package of about 10 at a time so it doesn't get too overwhelming if I have a lot to install. So here we go. We are in the installed area. I actually right clicked on this and there's a little place where you can retrieve the thumbnail so you have to mouse over this and select this in order to get the thumbnail to show up this way i know underneath here is our items i'm not i've already installed and categorized so another factor in install in dad central was that you could simply drag and select the name of this and you can't do that anymore and I haven't been able to find any way to just select the name because this makes it easier to actually select the name and then make your categories but we'll have to improvise and now I am going to open this so this will open here I've got Coral 8.1 I don't know why it's doing that, but okay. So I have my categories set up ahead of time. It is in a way that I understand it. You may have a completely different idea, but here I have fantasy. This is my fantasy folder. I usually have in the root folder, I pull all of the all of the things that are the representative of the thing that I want. So this isn't doesn't contain every file in here. It just contains maybe the most apparent file that tells me what is in all the folders below. And this way I can just easily go through here and see, okay, that's this I, and you and I I can see very fast everything I have and then I would have in these subfolders I do the same thing where this is the main file that defines that or or there are some other ones that end up in here for example this is not a building but sometimes I'll go in here and clean up the things and then here I have the names of each item. And then I have the folders. So for all of this, I would be, I would, oh, I'll just show you. <laughs> okay. Close up this. We got mermaid. Right click, create a subcategory. And because I can't copy and paste, or I don't know how anymore, I'm going to talk in a minute about organizing by figure, which would be, I could have had under here a subfolder of G8F, which is G Genesis 8 female. But I didn't do it in this case because I don't have a lot of mermaid stuff. So let's see, here's coral. And now we have over here, I do the top three folders. 
right click, create a subcategory, materials. And when I have a figure, I don't usually make a subfolder that says figure. I put the figure here because it's just more work. I don't need to have a separate folder that's a figure. So then I put this there. And in this case, I also dragged this into here. I held it too long, so it it collapsed. I don't usually go to check to see because sometimes if you drag this over it does not actually work but there's so much that I just I just believe that it worked so I just drag this over so that it's in the root and because it's a fantasy thing I do put it here. Okay, so here we have Coral. There she is. She's also here. And she's also here somewhere. There she is. Okay. I don't always do this, and it depends on the file, etc. For the materials, well, let's go to anatomy next. She's got a tail. I'm just going to put this here. I don't drag this anywhere else because this is generally specific to her. And if I do want to try to add a tail to something else, I'm going to know to go into the subfolder. For materials, I always open the materials and I choose iRay because I'm never going to use anything except iRay. So I'm not going to ever want to pull over the other types or make a folder. And I'm always going to know that that's going to have iRay. So that is one. Uh, these also don't get pulled anywhere else. These stay only in this folder. And sometimes this will change depending on a few factors and we'll see about that. Let's see after I make some more, put some more things in here. So what do we have next? We have... I actually am... I'm going to do, I probably should be going down here so I go up, but in order to show that I've finished this so I don't do it again, I'm going to do this little trick. Uh, okay, where was it here? Coral. Now that's done. So I see the, the thing. So these are also, all of these under here are done, but I didn't do this with install manager, so I just leaving it because I know that these are done. And this gives me the line between done and not done. So we can go anywhere, down or up. I'll go down and we'll open this. Because of the fact that this, it could go with a mermaid, but it's more likely that I am it's extremely likely that I'm going to be looking in water creatures. So I'm going into animals and I have a subfolder here, water and then fish. So I'm now going to right click, create a subcategory. Once again, I wish I could copy and paste this like I used to be able to. Daz people or that you would make it easy for me to figure out how to do this rather than having to type it, because this was a lot faster before when I could just copy and paste it. And now, once again, I'm not going to put the figures folder in there because I don't need it. I left that capitalized. Sometimes I fix it because I'm OCD about that, but I'll leave it. So figures, I'm going to move this into here. You'll see there it is. This is just clicking and dragging. IRAY, selecting IRAY. Poses. And here's their poses. And now once I get this, I can I can either pick this or I can go from here. I don't think this makes a difference. It might make something strange, but we'll just drag it from here. So I want this in the root. 
and I want this in the root of water as well. So here we go. This is done. And in case that you might think you would like this to be in the mermaid folder, you can go and you can right click duplicate category, selected category and subcategories. You go in here, fantasy, wardrobe, oops, fantasy mermaid, and I'm just going to hit accept and you'll see that it copied down here, friendly fish. So then you do want to pull this into mermaid and fantasy. Sometimes I work very intensely. I just want to find stuff. I like to have a few options of where I can find it so that in, in some things I only have them in one place and in other cases I don't. In this, this fish could be a fish and I just want to look for fish. But I also might be doing a tune scene. So I will also copy this duplicate category and I'm going to copy it to tune animals. And I think I, I do not have any water animals in tune. So I'm going to, I'm going to duplicate this category and create a subcategory. So I try to keep the tune the same or similar to what I have in animals. Okay, water. And the reason why I'm doing tune after every one of these is because I might be very busy and I might have this open and this way I don't confuse a bear from here with with something here. It just makes it clearer for me. And I also capitalize, I capitalize these so that I can read them easier <laughs> because I forgot to capitalize water. Uh, because there is no way to uh, change the font and it's difficult to read. So I make a, a capital and a space. And the reason why they're not all like this is because I started to do this after I had a hard time seeing. So at some point I will fix all of these. So I like to close these because it's too hard to go through everything. And if everything's open, it takes me too long to scroll. So we will go ahead and retrieve that. That's done. Open this guy. I hit escape, double click. So now this, some of these I have to think about, okay, what am I going to use this in besides a mermaid scene? So in this case, I do want to do mermaid. So we'll get that set up there. And I, I could do, because it's water, I have to decide, do I put it in environments or with the mermaid? I think I'm going to go with environments just because it's more of an environment. And this is just the point that I, I have to decide. It's got to be something that I'm going to remember. So I'm not spending too much time trying to find everything. Because in some cases, the environment will go with the creature or whatever. Okay, here is this. And we'll make our materials. And props. Okay, so for this one, we're going to pull over the materials. And the props. Now you'll see here, you have this little red thing that says scene. This is the whole scene that you load at once. I will usually put this with the props, but for an environment, I will always 
put this in the root so that I can see this is what this environment is. I mean, it's not perfect, but it gives me an idea. And then I put this into here as well and here as well. In this case, I will look at my props and if I think there's something that I would be very likely to use somewhere else, I will put it in props. I have a props folder. But in this case, I don't think I will because everything here is, is kind of aged from being under the water and it's unlikely I'm gonna use it anywhere else. For this, I'll leave this here under this. Close that up. We're done with that. Okay, fun with wardrobe stuff now. <laughs> okay, so my wardrobe folder is is a uh, kind of complex because I wanted to be able to pick out certain things. So it's possible that this will take longer. Okay, so let's go now. We have a wardrobe. I, in this case, let's look at this. So we have some things that could definitely be used outside of a mermaid. Like a normal person might wear these things, a non-mermaid or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> And here we have, this is, okay, we have the jewelry. Well, I would say that in this case, because this is so mermaid-ish, I'm only gonna put this into my mermaid folder. I do have a fantasy wardrobe, but in, I'm gonna be thinking this is mermaid clothes. There might be other mermaid clothes that I would put elsewhere because it's more useful as an, in another area. I always leave it the same name so that it's just easier for me to find things. So we have G8 and 81F. Accessories materials and because the wardrobe is the main thing i'm going to put this at the top i don't make a wardrobe folder i have to try to minimize some of this crazy work accessories and materials i ray so yeah i've made the executive decision to leave this actually I keep thinking of it and because, oh, here, let's pull this. I'm going to pull this into mermaid and fantasy because this is an outfit uh, and who knows, I might like to use the bra on some random thing. I'm going to duplicate this into wardrobe. And I have outfits. So this is for two types of models. So I'm going to duplicate this into, luckily this is highlighted so I can find it faster. And there. And now I have to open this. Go to outfits. And I pull this into G8F and G81 so that they're there. And then I'll pull this into outfits. Oops, I held it too long and it got wonky. So there, and we'll put this in wardrobe. So yeah, that's a little bit complicated because with the outfits, especially a fantasy one, sometimes there are aspects of it that I'll look for at other times in other places. So sometimes I'll put that in another spot like you just saw.
here's our let's retrieve this and open up open up this HD add-on okay so now I have this is already here so what I do is because this is a figure I don't make a folder for this I just put it in here put it into mermaid put it into fantasy so and now for the materials I do make a subfolder Here we go. So that I can easily get what I need to. And it just gives me that differentiation. I don't always have to do this, but there is that. And this does not need to go anywhere else because she isn't anywhere else. So there is that. Enchanted Splendor. What have we got here? Escape. What's really good about this too is that it forces me to open and look at the content so that I know more about what I have and what's going on. This, I think, is not going to be only fantasy. I think this could be could be uh, just on a uh, any on a whole bunch of different things so I'm gonna do wardrobe this is two we've got two here so I'm gonna do this and then eventually duplicate it and when I for for D force I just do D so I have to type less or and just so the name is not as long and I are I know that it means D force. I don't leave the word for eight eight one oops one F and here we have materials. Just this just has materials. I ray. wardrobe and I will take this and put this into this and this and then I will duplicate this You here. This is done. And we'll move this here so we have it there. It's already been moved there, so I don't need to move it there. And <laughs> because this can, it's not really only a fantasy outfit, I will also duplicate this to my wardrobe. I have a section for dresses, but because there's more to this than a dress, I move it to outfit, or not moving it, I'm duplicating it. And duplicating it. Yeah, I, I know this is, it's a lot of patience and there was a point where I did a whole bunch of this at once and I thought I was gonna go crazy sometimes because it takes a long time but it's totally worth it and because I have moved them there they keep the these in the top of themselves but I still want them here and here in the root and in outfits so 
you can see here, like I said before, sometimes I need to delete stuff that's not really that good, but now I can go and I can see every single outfit I have available for everything. Some of these I have converters and I can use them for a lot of characters. And it's really good to be able to see everything. So I can see everything I have for Genesis 8 female. There is our outfit. I'm kind of just going through what I have. I didn't I didn't think that I would really need to plan this and just uh, go through this and it's kind of forcing me to to uh, do things that might be helpful in your organization adventures. get rid of that. All right, so I'd say that this is probably something that is likely to only be, although these guys, okay, so I can use those in something else probably, but we'll do most of this in here. So we're back in fantasy wardrobe and our subcategory D. So don't need to write the whole word. don't need to put the wardrobe folder in there. Just put it at that one. Put it in there. Wait, I've got... Okay, here we go. I just wanted to make sure. See what was going on in there, because there was a couple of subfolders. And still, I didn't need anything. There's if there were a lot of accessories, I would probably, I might put that in in their own folder, but there was only one. And these guys in here. Outfit materials simulation. Okay. We'll put that in here and here. And because I'm thinking of it, I'm going to put it here because I'm going to duplicate it there. Duplicate. Fantasy. Wardrobe. 8.1. Okay, in this case, I don't think I probably wouldn't use any of these things for anything except a fantasy type thing, but I do think that the shoes I could. So I am going to duplicate this. Am I going to duplicate? No, let's not do that. Uh, close this. Wardrobe. Uh, because these are pretty generic shoes, I am simply going to, you know, I'm going to drag, how am I going to do this? Uh, okay, because these shoes have materials with them, I'm, sometimes I don't make a folder, I just put the shoes, but in this case, they have materials, so I'm going to make a folder. Or, you know what I'm going to do? I'm um, changing my mind. Oh, oh, there. We're going to go back up here. And go into wardrobe. We're just going to duplicate this. 
to wardrobe. GAF. Okay, now this is down here into the C. So you could just leave this and you would know the shoes are here, but this is to me, I just want to clean it up. So I duplicated it because it was fastest to do that. And here I'm just going to remove, right click, remove references. And in here, I'm going to remove the shoes and everything. I mean, remove everything except the shoes. And in this case, actually, because these guys, there's just one material. It's very simple. I'm just going to move it up with the shoes and delete this folder. Simplify it a little bit. And then I'll move this to here and to here. And then I will also move it up here. And I'm going to move this to here because this will also be duplicated there. Wardrobe. There we go. We're in shoes. There, now we see we have our shoes. Uh, see, this is it. It didn't copy. Sometimes it does not copy. Where is it? Now it should be there. Let's try it. Don't know why this happens occasionally. Sometimes it... No, it is not... Oh, here it is. <laughs> I couldn't see it. Okay. There it is there. All right, so I already put those in there, so we're good. Okay, let's go to Dragon, this creepy looking guy. What do we got here? He's a figure. Close this stuff up. Figures G eight point one M. I couldn't remember how it was named in these, so I do use I do use uh, okay. Figures always go here. This goes in G8.1 and in figures. So, anatomy, what have we got? Eyebrows. Materials. Shaping. I do think this guy kind of looks like he could be a some kind of uh, warlock or something. So he is going to get moved over here as well. G8.1 mail. I'll drag this there and duplicate fantasy figures. There we go. Now he got moved. He's done. Okay, poses, and let's check out some poses. And I will add that I know, as I said earlier, this might be completely not at all what anybody else does, but I was hoping that I could see at least an example of other people's libraries, and maybe this gives you ideas.
All right, so these are poses. Therefore, 8.1. So it's going to be Coral. She's a chick. Wait, let's look at this. Oh, oh, okay. So it is always two. Okay. That's the first time I've had that one, actually. So I actually do have a couple of folders where I have poses that are specifically for the male and the female. And I do not have one yet for 8.1. And in this case, uh, I guess I'll say coral. Eight. I decided, I realized as I was looking at this, that I probably would not use these poses for anything except for a mermaid because it looks like it's posing her tail. So I am going to move this category, right click. Let's do that again. Right click, move category to fantasy mermaid. Okay, there we go. Then I don't need to name the packages of this. I just put it in here. I mean, I don't need any sub subcategory. Just put this here. There's that. And we'll do this. Fantasy of the Deep Outfit. Escape. What have we got here? We have accessories. We have a tiara, which is very, very mermaidy. And although this could go on, yeah, I think I'm going to just leave this in. I'm going to leave this inside of fantasy. Okay, and I'm also going to leave it in Mermaid because it's definitely unlikely that I'm going to use it or look for it somewhere else. Let's look at this. Load all. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to put up here and in Fantasy. I'll make my subcategories accessories. Oops, sometimes you have to cancel out of that box in order to do anything. So let's say if I have this and I forgot that I was doing this and I do something else, it won't do anything, and then I'll see that I have this thing flashing at me. So you have to cancel that. Sometimes this collapses, I don't know why. And then I can see my, I have to reopen it to see my folders again. No, nope. for some reason it's doing it every time this time. Uh, utilities. I will not leave wardrobe. Oh, let's get these guys out of here. Uh, I will. Put wardrobe in the top. She has fantasy underwear. <laughs> okay, and we'll put this under mermaid. I already put this up here. Okay. Accessories. Now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, am I going to use, I probably won't use this stuff. If I'm thinking of a design like this, I'd probably come to Mermaid. But the headband, this thing, I probably could use it somewhere else. So I will put that somewhere else in a minute. Okay, so I don't have an eye ray to choose here. So I'll just move this over. Must be all eye ray materials. And one thing that's kind of neat is if I'm trying to find things, maybe sometimes I can find it in smart content and I can open this and see where I put it in my folders. Uh, sometimes it's easier for me to find it in smart con content because even though I've done this as well as I can, sometimes I forget. Uh, 
So, headband. So I'm going to leave everything here. Wait, materials? Does the headband have materials? Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this. This is going to be for 8.1. Under wardrobe, I have a section for head stuff, crowns, head pieces. So I'm duplicating it there. And I'm going to open this. What did I do? Okay, so I did. I duplicated it to the wrong place. So if you can, if you want, you can just drag and put it where it goes. So now it's here. Fantasy of the deep. Uh, in this case, I don't want anything except the head. So you delete all this. And I move this to here. So that's what I have. Delete this. Materials. I put the material net with it. Delete this folder. And then delete this folder. And now I just have I have this so I could say okay, these are all the hats that can go on G8.1 or head related things. And I have that for all the other figures here. Okay, so let's take a break and I'll just talk about the, I'm going to talk about the hierarchy. I've talked a little bit as I've gone, but in here is every animal and every animal I have is in this root. In here, I've broken it out into its own categories. Amphibians, bat, I only had one bat, bears, beaver, birds. All of these are here. And then I have a separate folder for tune. These are, would be anything that is a tune type animal. And this is not in any of this, except some of these might be in tune. And then they are not in the root because they are water. And I just wanted to separate that so that this didn't get way too big. And usually if I'm looking for water, I'm not also going to be looking for land animals just as that separation. I'll fix this right now. Okay. Try to think if there's any other things. Okay, so in hooved, I have all the hooved animals and I have uh, horses. So I have Tune horses, Daz horse two and three. So this would be anything related to that. Horses that go on their own. Hive wire horse. Props for the horses. So in all the props that I have, some of the props I have, for example, this is with the horse, but every single prop that I have is always in the root of props because I remember having a really hard time finding props I need that I knew I needed that I knew I had it I knew that I had <laughs> so I really wanted to have every prop in one place so I do frequently repeat props according to what I think I need for the category that's animals Animations are related usually to the figure. So 
you can just see some exam examples there. Um, in this case, I I have holidays here, and if I'm working on a holiday, which I was working with Halloween a lot, I take it out of this folder and I put it here so it's easier to access. And in this case, I probably will be working with Christmas a bunch and winter because it's, it's that time of year now. So in here, I would have everything related to Christmas and winter. I have environments as a separate as a separate thing sometimes i do duplicate these into environments but if it's very specifically a winter environment it goes in here some shaders really apply only to christmas so i do have those here i have a, a lot of shaders so i try to separate those out if i can christmas wardrobe would be elf and santa those are probably unlikely to go anywhere else. So, uh, and like, like I said, sometimes I will duplicate them. Creatures would be anything that's not an animal. So any sort of weird creature. I have these duplicated in Halloween because I have, you know, specific categories for Halloween. And then I have some of these duplicated in fantasy. It might be at one point that I will remove certain things, but generally this is creatures, not animals. Um, I mean, this guy, he's also in animals, but if it's if it's like a slightly weird creature that is sort of tuned or something, it goes in creatures. Or in this case, this would be something that would turn something into a creature. So that goes here. And if it's, okay, so this would be tuned creatures humanoid creatures so anything that's not human and it's not really like a normal human environments in here i have i don't know this is probably a mistake i should have that somewhere else but this is an actual prop that's a backdrop that goes here exterior human buildings and roads this would be anything that's that so I have farm, so I have a lot of farm stuff. And nature would be, there might be some bit of human trace in these, but mostly this is just a natural environment. Horse related, as I really like horses, so this is everything horse, which, you know, you might not use this, you might have some other related environment that you'd like to make a separate folder for. So interiors, sci-fi, I don't have that much. I think I actually should have this down here because I made this there. This would be toony, toony stuff, environments. And then whenever I have these, let's say I've got beach dining. This has a whole bunch of stuff but I just pull one of these into this. Uh, like I've said before, this isn't perfect, but usually I'll pull the main thing that represents that environment into here. Uh, not this, don't look at that. <laughs> um, it's not always perfect, but uh, you can see like, okay, I want Willow Creek. Here we go. And I shouldn't have this because I don't use 3D light, 3D to light. But yeah, I have to go through and uh, take out some things that are not the right representation. Fantasy, medieval, buildings, fantasy buildings, creatures of fantasy. This would be any creature that I think would go into a fantasy story. Fantasy environments. Fantasy figures, fairies, witches, mermaids, as we've been talking about. Poses that go to fantasy. Fantasy props, so you can see a lot of these things are 
probably going to be in a fantasy. I actually have broken down a lot of these props and put them into their own folders. So unless it's super mega fantasy looking, then it, uh, it can go to something else. Like that's not necessarily only fantasy. Or I should say medieval-ish wings. All my wings are here. They don't exist anywhere else. And where was I? Figures, as you saw, I have specific, some specific looks. Native American. Um, otherwise, I have Tune. I like to work with Tune a lot, so I have its own folder. It's all by character. Uh, where are we? Here. Some of this, uh, some of this, some of these are hair shaders. I have facial hair in their own separate place, broken down by the, the figure. in here there's my hairs Halloween characters this is mostly going to be animals or creatures related to Halloween humanoid monsters and some scary eyes Halloween environments that are definitely going to that I would definitely think of related to Halloween. Props, poses, wardrobe, whimsical Halloween stuff, and autumn shaders, wrapping paper, holidays, St. Patrick's Day, Easter. Lights would be all light sets. Okay. This here, it doesn't actually can, this title doesn't contain everything that's inside, but I know what's here. I mean, it covers what I need to know. So I have, because in order to do details for scenes, you have to do bits of nature a lot. So it's like dirt, leaves, little thingies, moss. So I have that. This is all bushes, cactus, cactus desert flora, clouds, ferns, these, a lot of these, most of these are props, but I separated them from props because there's too many to put in props. Fog, grass, like for example, I probably could put this into environments. Yeah, let's do that. Environments. So it's more of an environment thing. Grasses, ground, so if I just want to throw in some ground, ivy, uh, so these are various utilities, this would be, um, they have a, a heavy mix, it's no clear, there's no clear thing as to what it has. Um, but I wanted to keep it as a set. So this is why I have it here, but then I would also put the mushrooms, for example, into the mushroom category. Mosses and mushrooms. So, yep. Yeah. This would be any kind of plant. Some of these might be duplicated in other places. Specifically potted plants, rainforest related, all rocks, pebbles. Uh, there might be some bits of rock up here, but it's unlikely most of the that's there. Tuny things. This is all trees. All the trees I have are in this folder, but then I have the specific trees. Uh, whatever, beech, black blackthorn, oak, etc. And then I have haunted trees as a separate category, but most of these are all the kind of, okay, if it, yeah, enchanted. Yeah, there are a couple of different ones, but there's that. 
tiny plants, uh, ultra scenery related items, underwater. So this would be, I might think of this outside of mermaid for some other type of underwater scene. This may be duplicated in fantasy mermaid. Weedy plants and winter plants. These are probably duplicated here, uh, very likely, into Christmas and winter. Uh, where are we here? Poses, I don't know if... Poses, what I have done is... Let's wait for this guy to load. I have every pose is here. There's a lot of poses. Then I have the poses here by person, by the figure. And then I have packages so that I can actually say, yeah, maybe I want elven warriors or whatever. Poses are almost never anywhere else except like with the mermaid where it was specific, where it's specific to the model and it is, it needs, I should put it with the model so I know and it's easy to find. Various, okay, so um, Genesis and Genesis 2, I only have these here. I did not put those in this route because it's pretty unlikely I'm ever going to use those figures, but I still have a few. Okay, props. I really wanted to see every prop that I had. This is the crowning glory because you just use props so much and it's so difficult to find what's going on, what is going on, and what is where. So there's that. And so once again, none of this, or almost none of this, is anything of anything related to the nature stuff. So I have animal props. This would be one that you just set up. It's not an animal that's, uh, it's not rigged. So books, business, classroom, clothing, blanket, clouds. Okay, so I think I have clouds in a few places. Yeah, I'm getting some stuff done while I'm doing this. So I had clouds in here, right? Yeah, so let's move this out of here because this is, I just want to put that there. All right, and we'll delete this. So that's not duplicated because I don't need that duplicated. All right, I'm gonna take a second. All right. Uh, didn't like that. Sometimes my content library disappears, and if I just click, it comes back. I don't know why. Okay, so clouds, containers. This would be anything that can be used as a container, because I found that I really wanted to find containers really fast. So decals that go on the ground. This, sh this could go somewhere else, but it's okay. Decor, anything that would be used to decorate a house, dishes, uh, flags of the world, elderly and health related, electronics, ethnic, fence or gate. So anything that I could use to build a fence. Food, okay, food has subcategories, bread, candy, condiments, cookie and milk, treats, Dairy, milk, eggs, butter, cheese, dessert, drink, fruit, harvest, feast. This is a package. Herbs and spices, hot dogs, meat, 
it's on a plate or in a bowl because sometimes I you need that specifically pet food pizza snacks spices sushi vegetables and then I have always have everything in the root and I usually do the roots with the capitals and leave these subcategories. It's a little bit easier to read, but uh, just to understand that what's open and what's what's a root. Anything that's a furnishing, some of these are doors. I, I sort of, I get a little confused back and forth with uh, what would be a furnishing, but I try to do the best I can to put that there, gardening. Household, kitchen, which should probably be, I could probably combine dishes and cookware, but we'll just leave that. So be anything that's lighted. Uh, this isn't necessarily lighted. I think this is in a package that has lights, but this should be in letters. Uh, effects fire smoke oh, this would be an actual lamp so a light music related office equipment pet related retro or vintage yeah that's totally rad dude space sports okay symbols shapes words and signs there's everything that's a symbol, a shape, a word, or a sign. <laughs> so some of these that are lit are probably also in lighted effects because it is lit. Tune props, toony props, toys and games, trash, crumpled up stuff, treasure related, money related, vehicles and transportation so here i have this under i have subcategories air vehicles bicycle boat car motorcycle sci-fi tune train truck traffic pattern oh this is a little this is a a set of tiny simple cars for cities hot dog cart it's kind of in its own category wagons okay this should be in here i'm going to delete that and work related there is that water weapons this is work so the vehicle was a work-related vehicle, but this is everything that you might use to work or go to work. Dentist supplies, uh, work vehicles, work tools. Render settings, these are all HDRIs. This I really, really wanted to have in one, one area as well because it's, I don't know, it's just, so hard to find stuff sci-fi alien plants characters environments props space transportation wardrobe shaders this is going to take a minute so i really really wanted to see every single shader i actually don't I'm really still not confident, as confident as I can be with shaders, but I just want to see them all in one place easily. There are utilities within these. Oh, okay, so I have different categories under here, cloth and fabric, emissive, glass, gemstone, crystal liquid, home, related, household, metal, metallic, iridescent, miscellaneous make me merry because <laughs> I had shaders I put it here uh, 
it's probably also up there but it had some I could use in other places nature related would be stone skin hair and makeup so these didn't necessarily apply yeah this is the best place I could think of for this stone sand and pebble shaders oh I said this was stone it might be some are repeated up here but this would be uh, fur and skin and stuff and then wood utilities are all the utilities that would do something so scripts bone minion camera scripts okay those are utilities wardrobe as we've seen I have this split into apron bags pouches and backpacks baskets bathing suit belt cape cloak hooded cloak robe corset dress some things I just didn't know where to put it uh, glasses gloves head related items jackets and coats jewelry and almost all of these are broken into either uh, in a lot of cases I just did uh, the thing because I could parent it to any character so if that's the case I don't usually have it split into categories uh, oh band-aid <laughs> this is outfits and then they're all categorized by the character uh, by the model type pants purses scarves shirt shoes socks shorts skirt sweater tie tune clothing underwear vest walking staff wild swirly stuff working clothes okay and then I have a Western section here I'll take this guy out Uh, Western environments figures props wagon trip wagons and wardrobe so uh, that's that I think that that's probably enough to chew on for a while and like I said sometimes I have sets uh, for example if I saw some of these might fit with something else like here are books so I would put the books inside the book category let's see if they're there see so, yeah book one through here so as I put stuff together I would decide as you've watched me do where things could go or else I would think of it so it would be very easy to find everything it's not perfect and I still update it as you see sometimes I duplicate folders as you've seen <laughs> but it is absolutely fantastic to use when you are finished with your categorization the most important thing in the universe is to go to this little hamburger menu here click on it and you go to content DB maintenance here you click on export user data except mine takes a few minutes I'll speed it up I have a shortcut setup that takes me right to where my categories save here they are I have three files I copy and I paste and I name it the day and time and that is backing up the categories 
to re-import the data when you're starting over again. Content DB maintenance, re-import. So you would choose here what you want to re-import. Rock and roll.